everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be all about how to make writing work when you have a struggling writer. If you have been here at the Waldock Way any length of time, it is no secret to you that Emily was a struggling writer. Writing was something that she had the most difficulty with when she was younger. And it wasn't because she didn't have a creative voice or have the imagination, because she absolutely did. What she struggled with was being able to get all of the amazingness out of her head and onto the paper. It felt to her like because she didn't have the spelling that she wanted to have, because she's a perfectionist, because she couldn't um, physically keep up with the things that were pouring out of her brain fast enough to write them. It was just so frustrating. And even when I would try to write it for her, she was still disheartened that it wasn't her story and it wasn't her words even though it was, it didn't feel the same. She didn't have the same ownership. And so we struggled with that for a long time. And then we found Night Zookeeper and it completely changed the way she felt about writing. Instead of having to actually write it, she was able to type it, which meant that even though it wasn't, um, it was just as difficult. It was just a different difficulty. It was a change for her because she wasn't really fast at typing, but it was different and it was new and it was exciting. And she got to play games and they asked provoking questions to help her writing. Um, and it was animal based, which she absolutely loved. She was always, uh, you know, writing different characteristics for animals and getting to draw her own animal, which she absolutely just adored being able to do. Like she would do the required time that I asked her to do on it. And then when she was done with school for the day, she would ask for even more because she would want to draw a new animal or create a new animal. And that meant even though maybe it wasn't her favorite, she had to write. And so she continued to do that until she got to the point that now she is no longer a struggling writer. She loves writing. In fact, she writes constantly in her free time. I believe she currently has three chapter books going on Google Docs on her computer, um, different ones where she is writing all of these amazing stories. And so this is me encouraging you that if you haven't tried it yet, you should absolutely give Night Zookeeper a try because it really does help your kids grow their imagination, get through those writing struggles, make it fun because it's like playing games and they just really, really do what they do very, very well. I felt like it gave you a great way to express yourselves in creativity because it helps you and corrects you on your stories, which makes it really fun. And the more you work on that, they even included the pets, which I thought was pretty cool because then you can make like whatever pet you felt like. And the newsletters were cool and I just thought it's really fun. <laughs> 